Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Mars Explorer Hub. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most mysterious and fascinating sites captured by NASA's rovers on Mars. Look carefully at this rock formation. It might seem like just broken pieces of stone scattered in sand, but in reality, it holds billions of years of Martian history within it. This single image tells a story, a story of ancient winds, forgotten water, and a planet that once may have been alive. Let's begin our journey. The strange layered fragments you see here are not just random rocks. Scientists believe these are pieces of sedimentary layers, shaped over millions of years by water and wind erosion. Each flake and shard is like a page in Mars's ancient book, and when we study them, we're reading the story of the planet's evolution. The dark material around them is fine Martian dust, mixed with basaltic sand, remnants of volcanic activity that once shaped the entire surface of the red planet. Imagine this place billions of years ago. Instead of the silent desert we see now, this region might have been a shallow lake or a river delta. Flowing water slowly deposited minerals, layer upon layer, forming rocks that we now see torn apart by time. The bright central rock, the one that seems smoother and lighter, could be a clue to past mineral activity. It might be gypsum or sulphate, minerals that usually form in the presence of water. That single pale stone could prove that liquid water once existed here, perhaps even long enough to support microbial life. But how did these rocks get their shape? The answer lies in aeolian erosion, erosion caused by wind. For millions of years, Martian storms have blasted across the landscape, carving these stones into sharp, angular shards. The wind carried microscopic dust that worked like sandpaper, slicing through the rocks layer by layer. That's why these stones look like they've been peeled, almost like pages of a burnt book, each page telling a different story of climate, pressure and chemistry. What's fascinating is the pattern of contrast. The dark soil and the bright flakes create a mesmerizing texture that scientists use to study weathering processes. When sunlight hits these surfaces, the temperature difference between the dark sand and light rock can reach extreme levels, causing tiny fractures, expanding and contracting over centuries. This slow process, known as thermal stress weathering, could explain why so many rocks here have split apart into thin sheets. Now let's zoom out a little. This particular site might be located near Gale Crater or Jezero Crater, both areas explored by NASA's rovers Curiosity and Perseverance. These regions are geological treasure troves. In places like this, every grain of dust, every crack and stone may hold chemical fingerprints, clues to Mars's ancient climate and possible signs of organic molecules. Scientists study the ratios of elements like sulfur, iron and silicon inside these rocks to understand if life could have ever existed. But what if these patterns weren't shaped by nature alone? Some scientists have proposed that the repeating flake-like formations resemble fossilized sedimentary ripples, a pattern seen in riverbeds on Earth. If that's true, it means this region was once covered by running water, flowing across a Martian landscape millions of years ago. That changes everything, because where there's water, there's the potential for life. Think about it. Each rock here could have once been submerged under Martian water. Perhaps microbial life clung to these surfaces, feeding on minerals. And when the planet's atmosphere thinned and the water evaporated, all that remained were these silent witnesses, these broken pages of stone preserving the memories of a living planet. Even today, Mars continues to change. Dust storms sweep across its surface, covering and uncovering these ancient rocks. Every year, satellites orbiting Mars capture subtle changes, new layers exposed, new dust trails formed. Mars isn't a dead world. It's sleeping, evolving slowly, whispering stories through its stones. If you look closely at this image, you'll see balance, destruction and beauty together. The shattered rocks might look fragile, but they've survived billions of years of Martian storms. They remind us of resilience, that even on a lifeless planet, nature still creates art through erosion, time and patience. 
As the Perseverance rover continues to collect rock samples, NASA scientists are preparing to bring some of these stones back to Earth. One day, perhaps within this decade, this very type of rock could arrive in a laboratory on our planet. Imagine holding it in your hand, a piece of another world, older than human civilization itself. And they be, when scientists analyze it under a microscope, they'll find something extraordinary. Traces of ancient organic material, fossilized bacteria, or a pattern of minerals that can only form through biological processes. If that happens, this kind of rock could rewrite human history, proving that life existed beyond Earth. Until then, we continue to watch, explore and dream. Each photo like this, each rock, each shadow is a clue in humanity's greatest mystery. Are we alone? So, as we end today's exploration, remember this. The story of Mars isn't just written in dust and stone. It's written in patience, discovery and the endless human desire to know more. These rocks might look silent, but they're speaking to us, telling us to keep looking deeper, to never stop exploring. Thank you for watching Mars Explorer Hub. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of Mars, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because our next episode will take you even deeper into the canyons, craters and cosmic secrets of the Red Planet. Stay curious, stay inspired and keep exploring.